And joining us uh, on the program tonight is RJD Member of Parliament, uh, Mr. Manoj Jha. Mr. Jha, thanks very much for joining us. What are your first reactions to today's verdict? Uh, uh, Nidhi ji, uh, I think the first and the last reaction would be that uh, as a Member of Parliament, um, say RJD and DMK, uh, we had raised certain important concerns. And we were very glad those important concerns were debate, um, discussed even through the proceedings in the judiciary. Our first contention was that Article 15, which was amended subsequently with Article uh, Clause 4 and 16 with Clause 4, which this amendment added Clause 6 in 15 and Clause 6 in Article 16. We wanted that it should be seen through the lens of constant assembly debates and different judicial pronouncements. Our second argument was that we you must look at the aspect of sealing introduced by Indra Sahani judgment and Balaji. Now, that was second. And third, most important, Nidhiji, which I wish to convey through your channel, that generation of scientific data is the prerequisite for any affirmative action. World over, uh, it, it always follows a scientific data. For instance, when Mandal Commission came, it came with volumes of primary and secondary data. And then Mandal Commission introduced, keeping in mind 52%, 52.5% of the OBC population, but settling for 27 because 40, 50 did, need not be crossed because of Indra Sani judgment. I think that stands vindicated because that is seen through the entire, entire discourse in the judiciary. But today is the day. When the ceiling is over, now the government of the day must go immediately with a sense of urgency for caste-based census. And when the ceiling is gone, I think reservation of affirmative action or representation should be according to the share in the population, but only after generating scientific data. Do you do, do you find do you find uh, reservations uh, based on economic criteria alone problematic? However, and if so, why would that be the case? I, I mean, on the face of it, uh, you know, these are the economically poor. So should they not get uh, you know the opportunity to have uh, government jobs and higher education? Look, uh, Nidhiji, uh, my understanding of affirmative action or reservation, which we loosely speak through 15 clause 4 and 16 clause 4, emanated out of my understanding of the debates in constituent assembly and subsequent judicial pronouncement, where time and again the courts and even the legislature emphasized on, on social and educational backwardness. I mean, there are judgments where it is said that you might be poor, but your poverty amongst the upper caste does not emanate out of the caste background. But today's judgment, even though it's a split verdict, it settles that. Once it settles that, it also settles the very idea of Indra Sahani's judgment, which is said 50% ceiling is not inflexible. It is flexible. Now, what is the imperative? The government must call for caste census immediately and go for what has been the demand. Now, that is something which we must do urgently. Right. Interestingly, the BJP in Bihar, from where you are, they, they actually then, you know, went along with you all and said, let's have a caste-based census. But the BJP at the centre is very reluctant to do it. No, that, 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 that is problematic. Because you cannot have multiple faces as far as social justice plan is concerned. Social justice is not something which we have brought from the heaven. It has emanated from the ground. It has its voice in the uh, say constitution. I think any political party which respects uh, constitutional politics, the spirit of the constitution, they must agree that caste-based census is needed very badly in this country in order to have an effective intervention mechanism at policy level or at ground level as far as budgetary allocations are concerned, which is generally, which is generally not seen in the uh, last couple of years. Are you worried though, Manoj Jha, that today's verdict will be in a sense a backdoor entry for forward castes who are actually not so economically, uh, you know, um, underprivileged uh, and to, for them to get reservations? There is a whole controversy about the 8 lakh rupee ceiling, uh, uh, income ceiling also. I'll tell you uh, uh, something which worries me. If the scientific data was available with the government, even for the general caste reservation, which EWS means, it should have reached the real needy. It is lost somewhere in the urban, urban sphere. 
if you had generated that scientific data which we demanded on the floor of the house probably if the intent was to support the poor among the upper caste it it would have reached them what is happening that we all know that um false affidavits are being made false income certificates are being made and the real needy are actually they are not able to access that or avail that and that's why i come and again say that even though the court has upheld it please generate viable scientific data which tells you who stands where all right manoj ja thanks very much for that initial reaction to that important judgment today uh, thanks very much for joining us